everyone. I hope you're nice and cozy in your house today. It was so windy and cold outside, so I'm all rugged up with my scarf. And I've got a special guest here with me, if you haven't seen him already. This is Carlos, my cat. And he just loves cuddles, don't you, Carlos? We've got two cats, Carlos and Charlie, and they're very different. Carlos is white and black, and Charlie is a tabby cat. And Carlos is going to read a story with us today, and guess what the story is about? It is called Six Dinner Sid. Hmm. Now I wonder why it's called Six Dinner Sid. Now before I start, I'd like to give a special mention to Michaela for her birthday. I hope you have a great day and I can't wait to see you hopefully soon and give you a big cuddle. All right, now let's read the story together. Six Dinner Sid. Sid, oh sorry, Sid lived at a number one Aristotle Street. There he is, and that's his house. He also lived at number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. Hmm, that's a bit odd. Do you have six houses? Hmm, we've only got the one. Sid lived in six houses so that he could have six dinners. Each night he would slip out of number one, where he might have had chicken, into number two for fish, yum, yum. Number three for lamb, mince at number four, fish again at number five and rounding it off at number six with beef and kidney stew. Yum, yum. That's one hungry cat. Since no one talked to their neighbours in Aristotle Street, no one knew what Sid was up to. They each believed the cat was fed, that they fed was theirs and theirs alone. But Sid had to work hard for his dinners. It wasn't easy being six people's pets. He had six different names to remember and six different ways to behave. When he was being a scaramouche, Sid put on swanky airs. As Bob, he had a job. He was as naughty as Satan and silly as Sally, as sooty he smooched, and but as swatch he had to act rough and tough. He had to be lots of different cats, didn't he? All this work sometimes wore Sid out, but he didn't care as long as he had his six dinners, and besides, he liked being scratched in six different places. Look at that. I think he loves a nice scratch on his belly, under his chin, on his back. Lovely. And sleeping in six different beds. What kind of beds does he have here? Let's see. He's on a couch in this photo. What about down here? A box. And... A cupboard? Hmm. In fact, life in Aristotle Street was just about perfect for Sid until one cold, damp day he caught a nasty cold. Oh, he doesn't look very happy, does he? The next day, the next thing he knew, he was being taken to see the vet. Poor Sid. He was taken not once, but 
six times. <gasps> he went with six different people in six different ways. Let's look at the ways they took him to the vet. I see they've carried him in a cat carrier, on the back of a motorbike, in a basket. The vet said Sid's cough was, wasn't nearly as nasty as it sounded. But to be on the safe side, he should have a spoonful of medicine. Of course, Sid didn't just have one spoonful of medicine. He had six. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, oh, six. I don't think he liked that very much. Now, one black cat does look much like another, but nobody, not even a busy vet, could see the same cat six times without becoming suspicious. Sure enough, when he checked in his appointments book, the vet found six cats with a cough, all living on Aristotle Street. So he rang the owners at once. Look at all the six di different owners there getting a phone call. And oh dear, Sid was found out. When they discovered what he had been up to, Sid's owners were furious. They said he had no business eating so many dis dinners. Oh no, I think he's in trouble. Mm, they do not look very pleased. They said in future they would make sure he only had one dinner a day. But Sid was a six dinner a day cat, wasn't he? So he went to live at numbers one Pythagoras place. He also went to live at numbers two, three, four, five, and six. Unlike Aristotle Street, the people who lived at Pythagoras place talked to their neighbors. So right from the start, everyone knew about Sid's six dinners. And because everyone knew, nobody minded. So he's got a new family. What a great story. I think that Carlos would love to have six dinners if we let him, but he would be as big as a house if he did. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.